Shadow Fiend. Radiant Team Pick. Puck. Witch Doctor. Dire Team are now picking. Ten seconds to pick. Five seconds remain. Reserve time. Chen. Dyer's ban. Ten seconds to pick. Five seconds. Hurry, hurry. Reserve time. Radiance ban. Only ten seconds. Five seconds. Hurry, hurry. Reserve time. Reserve time. Dyer's ban. Radiance ban. Not something Secret will go to every game, but... It's so hard to deal with. It just forces yeah. your supports to stick in that lane. I mean, you can't leave them unless you have something that is extremely good at clearing the spiders. This is very player-targeted, though, from EG. Yeah. Like, you were asking, will they focus more on strong Reserve heroes time. or just what Secret like to run? And everything is very Secret-targeted. Yeah. So I guess we get our answer there. Mm -hmm. So they'll need a Zai hero. Bristleback's probably the big hero uh, with the Puck band. The Techies the is available. Band. Techies is available. <laughs> I, One I, can only dream. I don't know if they run it versus EG here, though. Yeah, Ricky is also available. Ricky is still there in the pool. The, the thing with the Techies pick was it was against like a triple melee opener, I believe. Yep. So Puck, Witch Doctor, it's a lot harder to get things done as a Techies. That is true. That is true. But EG thinking of their, of their first hero. Normally here is where they get um, their carry the carry player. I mean, when you, when you remember these lineups, if Draw wasn't to be banned, it would be like Puck, Bench, Drow, Pant, Pack, Witch Doctor, Drow, Pack, Visage, Drow. That was like the, the setup that they would Reserve normally go time. for. So we'll probably see EG in the third or fourth pick trying to get one of those cores that is going to be the main damage dealer. And knowing that they have Shadowfin in front of them, they might think of an answer, a direct answer. What is good against Shadowfin Blitz? Mm. There's two ways to play him. Either you go ultra, Dirty ultra, ultra late game, game. Mm -hmm. where if he decides to go any utility, like I know the Chinese mids favor the mech, mech first. Yeah. If you go something like that, if you go Mech Manta, I think that's what somebody on C-Deck did, Mikasa, the game you casted. Mm -hmm. When you go a build like that, you really limit the late game uh, viability of the hero, and or you just gank him like crazy in the early game. 
the hero doesn't really get outlaned by anything, especially since the level 1 Braze got buffed so much. Yeah. So you either have to take it to him pre-level 5, because once he hits level 3 raises, he can just uh, farm, nuke out the wave, bottle crow, and then just repeatedly jungle. And you don't want to commit heroes that deep into uh, the enemy jungle, especially when he has a Chen there. The, with the Chen, I feel like trying to beat him mid, you have to pick like a total lane dominator. Because they also have a Witch Doctor, which is not the best offensive support early. It's okay. I mean, you can kill a Shadow Fiend. It's like 500 HP. We've seen a, a Queen of Pain beat a Shadow Fiend with the help of a Chen. The Chen made it really hard. I don't remember what game it was. Oh, oh, that's oh wow, the Lina. They don't have any real setup for the Lina yet. I don't feel like Lina's a support here. I, I yeah, think that's the hero is. I, I've been, he pair with the I've been hearing from a lot of pro players for the last two months. Lina is actually a really good core hero. It's really good <laughs> mid, and it's very tough to beat mid. Yeah, it's. Now, I've never seen it in a pro game. So I don't know the veracity of these claims, but they were not trolling. They were actually genuinely oh, saying it's just... Oh, they're not. It's, it's the NEL go-to solo mid. That, yeah. it, that's the number one hero I five run into seconds. in solo queue. Hurry, really? Hurry. In every single server. I played I played C by accident like five games. All five games, Lena mid. Reserve I think uh, I started tracking my own stats. I think like 70% of games, if I take uh, any mid, no matter what, even if it's not even a counter pick, yeah. they'll just open with Lena mid. What is a counter pick? What, what does Lena counter pick? Everything. I'm not even kidding. It's please. Uh, I mean, explain. Shadow Fiend, Storm. Explain. Except like Viper, yeah. maybe or something. I don't know. Even the thing, even Viper, yeah. because the range, the 670 range that you have, you can get into a right click fight with anybody. You'll be on top of your hill. They'll be on top of theirs, and you can still right click them. <laughs> you can right click from it's, it's uphill absurd. to uphill. Uh, wow. It really might be like a little bit. Yeah. It might be a little bit closer. But then on top of that, because of the way that the level one nuke was buffed, uh -huh. it just clears so much. It does so much damage. You get a bottle off the bat, and oh, it's just impossible to fight against. Interesting. So most people are running at mid. Yeah, um, I don't think this... And they have the SF for RTZ already. I feel like this can't be... Uh, this has to be a Shadow Fiend mid, right? It could be a safe lane Shadow time. Fiend, if you think about it. But the, 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 thing, the thing is that if you look at Lina Chen, they're not great without Five a setup. Seconds. because Yeah, which is where you it does feel like they this is not a support. Because yeah. if it were, then they'd want Still, some setup. But they get the Zy Bristle, so it's either S4 Lina or... It is Kuroki on it. If you put if you put Lina mid then, um, and the Chen stacks the camp yeah. on the left side, it's harder for the Shadow Fiend to completely rotate over, and it slows mm -hmm. down this potential farm a lot. I feel like putting, especially if you have, they have Radiant, right? Yeah. If I'm not, wait, no, 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 they're, no, they're, 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 dire. they're dire. Then maybe you do do it, and it's okay. So Five as for EG, they go for the Sumail Quap now. Fear, generally the troll. Uh, we saw the yeah. Shadow Blade troll yesterday, did a lot of work. Reserve time. <laughs> Um, the the all flame puck for universe, so they will need that support. Probably the AUI two thousand support. What do you uh, do? You see the Chen. You may feel if you're EG like you can get a bit greedier. We saw one team yesterday tried to run a Sand King, just to mm -hmm. get more out of the jungle versus a Chen. So the AUI has played a little bit of. What do you guys think for AUI? Mm. I feel you can go. I feel like the Witch Doctor has picked like the Witch Doctor trolling really good at already zoning out the Bristleback on their own, so they can get something a bit more greedy with AUI's pick potentially. Because I think that Witch Doctor pick was almost picked up knowing that Secret liked her on the Bristleback and that it's a really good zoner with Maledict and a, a strong laner like Trolls. So, as far as AUI's hero goes, I think either something greedy or something that can just solo roam and pressure the SF in mid lane with the Queen of Pain. Ten seconds to pick. I wonder if this would be a good game for the comeback of the Skyward Mage because Five Lina is a great hurry, silence target. Uh, Bristleback with the amplified damage that you get, you kind of counter this Bristleback, in fact. And it's going to be a Crystal Maiden. Alright, so... That's the Chen the counter. They're that's the Chen counter, game. yeah. I feel like they, they have good anti-Chen supports, both of them, actually. Yeah. I feel like this is a bit of what I mentioned earlier, where they're just going to go right off the bat, try ward up the secret jungle, prevent Chen from having any of his big camps, and... I mean, their level 1 right now is pretty scary with these five heroes, whereas secret don't really have the same ability to fight with the Chen Shadow Fiend. Newsflash! Out of the total 100 heroes that are available... 105, sorry, seconds. yeah, you're right. Heroes that are available in Dota 2, five 93 of them really. have been picked in Dota Asian Championships. So what are ones that have not been picked yet? All right. Well, this one has been the Nix yeah. Assassin. Nix Assassin. It's a four int lineup. That mana burn could do quite a bit of damage here. Definitely, definitely. And uh, again, so this Nix Assassin could be a support. Nix support. Assassin. I think it. It may. Be. It probably is. Let's 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 see. This is, I think this is the most important part of the game right now. I it ha a safe I think lane Lena. Or I think that is a. I think that. I think that's a core Lena. 
Maybe? I would love to see a Kodi. So Bristol off lane, SF mid, Lina safe lane, Nick support, Chen support. They could do I something super tricky and put like Lina, Nyx off and then put Bristol short lane with Chen yeah. roaming. Uh huh. I have one of really Bristol off lane against like the Witch Doctor troll. Zai's not gonna, if it is Zai, sometimes S4 has played one game and the Bristol back is just not gonna get farm Two against that kind of a lane. Guess you find out they're really, they're yeah, really, they're, they're making, yeah. they're really milking yeah. it. AG's lane's quite straightforward. No surprises there, as far as secret are concerned. Or is the so it is a sport lead. So they Aww. do not have a great setup here. Yeah. Puppy gets a troll. I think just with Shadow Fiend in the game, it's hard to justify Don't not putting him mid. Oh, they I'll just swapped heroes. So S4 is now the the Nyx. The Nyx. And who's Elena? I guess they're giving us four. It's, it's still Kuro. Ah, they might have actually just. It might have not been a sneaky thing. They might have just been debating yeah. how to do it. They were like, okay, well. What's the best setup yep. here? EG immediately looking to go into that dire jungle though. They're five manning towards the, the top lane and... And Secret immediately... Where Secret are waiting on the on the ramp, but this is gonna be something where normally there's that one hero position to scout out this rotation, but EG, even if they don't get a kill, they're just happy to get down some wards here probably. LD, as much as I would love to stay in this amazing game, I'm gonna step out. You feel free to stay if you want. I'm gonna take a, a small break. And then I'll come back after the game is done. Sounds I'll, good? I'll leave these two to it. Sounds good. I'll join you, my friend. Good, good luck, guys. Good luck, gentlemen. Digital All right. We, fi we finally now. get some alone time, yes. Will. <laughs> Dude, you are so tall compared to me. I feel like I'm not even that short. I want to let people know that I'm f I'm like 5'10", but I look like a midget here. I am, LD. Thank you. You're, you're tall for, for for a Korean person, you know? People, yeah. people in Southeast Asia. In Korea, Korea, I'm a giant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just... I beat the Southeast Asia. I feel like if you were you were there, yeah, in Southeast Asia in general, you'd be a massive. Yeah, I'm I'm very tall there. All right, so if you want to go over the lineups really quick, okay, we can do that. So Zai gonna be on your first back. Level one goof. He was actually been trapped here in the river and not gonna be. Well, we're gonna lose kind of vision there for Zai. Is RTZ gonna be playing the Shadow Fiend? He's gonna pick up the Bounty Rune and mid lane puppy gonna be doing the body block He's for your Shadow Fiend. Yeah, and uh, at the top lane, it's gonna be the Kuro Lina supporting the S4 Nyx, a safe lane farming Nyx assassin. And uh, the Radiant side, do you want to introduce them, even though you don't think they're going to win? Okay. We should have introduced our own team. Why, why are you, know? you saying it like that? Well, like, yeah, no, you, you know, EG was my team, Secret was yours. Like, okay, we should okay. be there, That's not how teams. I'm looking at it. All right, so Universe is going to be playing the Puck offlane. Looks like with the Witch Doctor of PPD, you've got Sumail playing the Queen of Pain mid. And you've got Fear on this Troll Warlord. And got AUI2000 playing this Crystal Maiden right here. Oh, okay. He's gonna be doing some early jungle trying to get fast level two. Mid lane, okay, Arteezy. Too easy. That's First blood's the Queen of Pain. That just happened. That is surprising. I don't think that should happen. He went he, all in. Yeah, for he that all kill. in with the blink. There, there's no way that should happen. And that sets him back so much. He wants he's got to go 21 in much more. He needs to cancel this salve at least, but he's not getting the kill. No, he's though. got a bottle now too, and he's just oh. wasted even more mana. If he that, I I don't even think all inning it there. It's it was pretty low percentage. Especially if you blink aggressively like that. You're just, he ate two raises by RTZ. Not the kind of start that he wants, but he has to calm down, relax. Things can still go okay. This is still a winnable lane. Well, he's once again manning up. This time he blinks backwards, although there wasn't any mana for an RTZ race there, so. Almost getting defensive when he doesn't need to at the same time. But as you said, it's going to just come down to remaining composed here for the young 15 year old in the mid lane. Yeah, that's probably the most interesting thing. He's been pretty composed after that terror. Or they didn't. They actually had a pretty good run in the in the first few days. So maybe that helps out his confidence, and he calms down and says, "Okay, things are all right." Just treat it like any other NEL game. You're just like versing RTZ. He's probably done this many times before in NEL. Top lane. Uh oh, Smell blinks in aggressively. RTZ going to turn around, throw some raises. Gets the triple raise, it looks like, but not enough damage coming out onto Sumail. But Sumail's lane effectively lost at this point. Meanwhile, Universe at top lane, almost getting picked off. He needs to get the jaunt out. S4 not going to chase him down. Sal comes out and, well, EG getting pressured in both mid lane and top lane pretty heavily here. AUI's in the jungle, just has that Brilliant Aura up. He's uh, doing pretty effective as far as just providing that support to his teammates. I feel like, how big a difference does something like a Brilliant Aura make in a game like this for your lanes? Not that much. The best thing, though, that... Um AUI can do is just continue to stack for this SF, which he's doing right now in this jungle. Get as much farm as he can. Well, the SF's on the Dire. Or no, 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 no. no. For like the, the Queen, Queen of Pain. Of Pain? Yeah, yeah. yeah, Or your troll. That's what I meant. I'm sorry. That's okay. I just woke up, dude. And Me so, too. Me too. You, if you play a really greedy support like this, you want him to get as much as he can. Get the boots, get a smoke. 
maybe that's how they try to pick up on this Shadow Fiend. Like I said, the only two ways that you're going to beat him here is either you dominate him in the laning phase, which after that bounty rune and that first kill doesn't really look like it's going to happen. I mean, giving up a, a Shadow Fiend of all heroes first blood solo, and he got the bounty rune, like this is a dream start for our tour. Yeah, he's going to be feeling really comfortable. Puppy doesn't even have to really offer that assistance, which you sometimes see him like send creeps towards the mid lane, just throw a tornado, throw like a mana burn, just have that kind of shockwave spam, whatever it may be. But Puppy, he's stacking. He's doing just what kind of the CM is doing, stacking big camps That's what I'm for the SF. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We got it right the second time. Yeah. Morning jitters. By doing this, Puppy is, he's lowering his potential farm, but he's really setting up for our tour, which is what he wants. This Crystal Maiden though, it's a really greedy pick. It doesn't do a whole lot in this game. I really feel like a Crystal Maiden against heroes like Bristleback, Nyx, Lina, she's just gonna get blown up. So he, you have to get aggressive and look, I think he's gonna pop a smoke here, try to go around, but Puppy knows about this and he's gonna stand here to break it actually. And he does, he should be able to see this coming. Sumail doesn't have the blink up. Does he commit for this? It's getting really close. Artur's popping bottle charges, the screen's gonna pick him off. It was smart though. Like that was a good idea. Well, AUI, if he went the normal smoke path up the ramp, it wouldn't have worked. But he went through the river, and the reveal came a bit too late. Meanwhile, Puck gonna get a kill on the Lena at the the jungle here. That haste rune allowing him to just chase down Lena, who was looking for deny in the neutral camp. So EG, they bounce back a little bit here after a, a shaky start for Sumail in the mid lane. That's so next level though by AUI. They were next leveling each other. He's like, I'm gonna smoke, and Puppy's like, I'm gonna wait on top of this cliff for you to go through. That was just Puppy uh. actually waiting out the smoke timer. There was no creeps by him, he just he just sat up here and he was waiting for it to pop. Yeah. But the CM, it's because it's so obvious that's what the CM's gonna do. He's jungling, he's staying off the map, he's gonna create presence somewhere. There's no real point in ganking a bristle back, especially for a troll warlord. And so try to get some pressure on the mid lane and it is successful though. And you can see like the CM, you can you know that CM's gonna go at level three, especially you, you can know, see the brilliant. Yeah, you Zora. know she's gonna gank is the crazy As part. Soon, you can check the scoreboard, you see level three here and you're like, okay, that's CM. The only move the CM has from the jungle is to smoke wrap around mid lane. Yeah, that's the one play you have 100 to make. 100% out of 100. Every single time you pick a CM, you go for that. Yeah. The, the crazy thing is that it worked. Like, I, I'm still baffled. It's. I think it ultimately comes down to the, the smoke through the river. And also the timing, like around the four minute rune, it's it's so predictable, but it still works. Hot lane, meanwhile, S4. Oxy knows bottom lane, fear to get jumped on as uh, it wants to try and man fight up on Kuro. Kuro's rotate, but he's gonna give away a kill. Zai now in trouble as well. Fear gonna get two! Double kill for the old man. As EG get up four kills to one, things starting to stabilize here. If Sumel was a bit worried after that first blood mid, he can see that the other lanes are going well. He's now going to kill an Arteezy. At this point, he's probably feeling very calm and good about himself. Yeah, especially after that rebuttal kill and the way that the team is doing so far right now, he has to think to himself, okay, that was a, a little bit of a mistake, but it doesn't really determine the game. And Puppy can't really gank a Queen of Pain, so he's not feeling pressured at all. He realizes, all right, if I don't die in this lane, I'm perfectly fine, and he's going to get gone on too. Oh, the cast being one of the greatest tools you can have against a Chen. Puppy going to, well, potentially look to deny himself no opportunity to do so. Queen of Pain gets another kill. Just Chris play coming out of EG, looking to bring in those supports when they need you for those runes. Yeah, and right now, the problem seems like the Lina hasn't really paid off. This is a hero that you absolutely have to be ahead in to justify picking it this early. I just think that it's a really greedy support in general. He has no setup stun, ganking a Queen of Pain. Where's his targets really? He's not going to kill a he's not going to kill a puck, especially with S4 playing a Nyx. Like there's no real setup for that. You you just phase shift dodge everything. Yeah. So S4 is essentially the initiator, kind of, I mean, his normal role in the team. Just seeing level 6 now, does he look to go gank, or is he going to try farm up, like, a core item first? What's kind of his move in this it's game? It's too obvious if he goes and ganks right now. He, what I would like to see S4 do is grab a TP, and then just, he has to do it instantly. I would probably go to the safe lane. The troll plays really far up, trying to zone the bristle back out. If I'm S4 right now, I grab a TP at the side lane, I fog for half a second, and then I just TP out. Well, for EG, they got to be ready for those kind of movements here. The Nyx has been 6 for some time. AUI is still playing aggressive in this moment. He's level 5. He's got a lot of experience out of this jungle and just in general from the, the rotations he's made. So, for EG, going to be pretty confident about how things have started off here. Sumail's kind of stabilized at the mid lane. Artizi just going for those kind of basic tanky items. as a Wraith Band and a Bracer on his Shadow Fiend just to try and stay alive from these kind of ganks. Yeah, and so S4 has grabbed the TP. He is ready for any sort of rotation. I think you push this lane out. That's what he's doing right now. You let the Lina take XP, and then you just immediately TP down is, I think, the move. Troll, look how far up he's playing right now. Queen of Pain is a low percentage gank. You have to assume that a Sentry Ward's there. So back up S4, wait half a beat, TP bottom, and then go for the gank. Yep. 
Well, it looks like uh, this force still looking to stay at the top lane for the time being. Fear taking a bit of damage down the bottom lane. Zeiss dying to stack up some goos and quills and Fear may need backup here. Zeiss got still a lot of mana here. Fear may just go down. He's got he's five got stacks on him too. Oh, the TP coming in from the puck at the last second. There is a Dream Call available if he can get in range. He's going to all forward. No TP until now. The Nyx has some TPs, but it maybe is too late. Zai probably going to go down here. Fear turns around with a slow. Here comes S4 looking to get one kill or possibly a couple. He has Fear to go to catch both. He gets AUI and Fear. AUI, he's getting body blocked here by S4. Lena shows up as well now. S4 wants AUI. The Lena right oh, no. click. Not enough. It's one more. Get him. Oh, it doesn't do it. The cask! Oh! The cask now comes up from PPD! Kuro gonna go down! It's a disaster for Secret in the bot lane. They just got the Crystal Maiden with that last right click, but EG show up with a great TP from Universe. He was just a little bit faster than S4 in the rotation, and it made all the difference. I absolutely think S4 should have TP'd down there earlier. Look how far up Fear was playing during that time. He hit the level 6 timing really well too, and look where the sentry ward is placed as well. If he just walks forward, ganks, ganks the troll there away from the tower, that's a really safe kill for secret. But by allowing the chase to the tower, by Zai just kind of overextending just a little bit, like he has to know that's going to happen. Puck is the best counter ganker in the game. Like he's As soon as he hits 6, he's going to grab a TP, he's going to look to rotate. Even when the Puck TP was visible for secret, I think it was like a good second and a half to two seconds before S4 TP'd. It still wasn't instant even when they knew the Puck Maybe was rotating. Maybe he just didn't think he was going to catch up. Yeah. Damage. Well, we'll see what the next move for Secret's going to be. The Chen is level, well, really high level in the jungle. They're getting a lot out of that, but we haven't really seen Puppy have much of an impact. He's level 7, has the Hand of God as far as, well, once it com comes off cooldown. But in general, Secret playing from behind now. And this is, well, I, not, th not a new thing for them. They've had some games where they've kind of started off slow. The game against Cedic where it felt like they maybe should have lost. And we'll see what they can do here against EG. I think Puppy actually Radiant stacked for himself, judging by the amount of golden levels yeah, he has. Yeah. I think he just used the double uh, Wild Wing Rippers, say that fast five times, Wild Wing Rippers to uh, stack for himself and then he cleared it with that, because Arteezy looks really far behind right now, and on this high ground right here... Okay, Arteezy gonna go down, tries to get the cannon kill on PPD. Do you feel like that's the right move, giving it, take Chen taking it and trying to get the fast mech versus Arteezy getting on the Shadow Fiend? I guess if you think that Shadow... I think the mech right now is more important than anything that Arteezy is going to grab, so yeah. Getting a 11 minute mech on this Chen is pretty crucial, especially just because Chen hasn't been able to gank any lane. But realistically, where is he going to go? So he might as well just get guaranteed farm. But the trade-off here is that your team's going to do a little bit weaker. They've sent Kuro in instead every single time. I don't even know how Kuro is level 6 right now, by the way. Like, that's actually absurd, considering every single gank I've seen him do has been unsuccessful so far. He's had the pull camps to himself, but yeah, it seems a bit, a bit crazy. Secret is surprisingly getting their levels, getting at least some basic farm and core items on all their heroes, like Kuro just having an urn. S4 is up to level 9. Across the board, it feels like Secret are at least not getting completely demolished here. Their supports are far more farm than the EG. Looking at their supports, like 1300 net worth of beast, when Chen is 3k net worth, Lena has 2.2k. It's not exactly as clear-cut an EG lead as it may kind of appear based on the kills and the, the fights we've seen so far. Yeah, Puppy's almost got core farm, so when you've got that much on your Chen, you're never too far behind. But remember, Chen isn't a hero that scales too well late game. You absolutely need to hit this mech timing and start going around the map accomplishing things. The problem though in picking Chen this early is that EG seemed to know they were actually going to give up the Chen, and they've picked a lineup of cores that are really difficult to gank. They've got a Queen of Pain, how do you gank that with the Chen? You have no real setup, as, except for S4, like you're never going to hit a Lina stun without him seeing it from Fog. They've, you've got a Puck, who's not even worth ganking, Radiant I think, at this point. It's so low siege. percentage. And you've got a Troll who's just naturally tanky. He's got 1,000 HP. The Whirling Axes make everything miserable. Yep. Like, it's it's just not an ideal Chen game. Not so. to mention your two supports. You've got Cask and Frostbite. Yeah, exactly. You're just giving up a creep at that point. So what? the plan is grab this mech and just push. I, I don't... Yep. Maybe you go for a smoke gank and then go for the push, but regardless, you are looking just for yeah. the straight-up push. They could e quite easily take Roshan as well. They've got the Bristleback with the Goo, the Shadow Fiend. Uh, no points in the aura just yet. Uh, he's just hit level 9, may pick up his first one now, but that's the other option for them as well, if they can try to get in there with maybe three heroes and show, like, Kuro in the mid lane on the Lina and Nyx at top lane. Yeah, they actually haven't shown... Um, they don't have any wards in the secret jungle, so they might just think that SF is doing the jungle and Zai is doing the... Um, ancients, and they're like, okay, this is a really good timing, and th that is what they're going to go for. I guess straight up pushing into EG's lineup is also really miserable. There's just so much wave clear on their end. EG seem to be moving to at least check this one out. They're going to walk past an illusion, and that, that illusion is there to scout this one. So this They know our tour too well. 
It's the catch-up version. They're not going to allow that to happen. This is the classic C9. We're behind. We have to go for a rush. Well, they're going to now have a fight brewing at near the bottom ribbing. And Kaos bouncing between two and Arteezy locked in place and heals from the Chen. This is all they've really got from the Chen. That's now the man foil though. Oh my god. S4 locked in place and then death. What he's killing the Vendetta just to stay alive. Instead, now it's Arteezy focused by Queen of Fame Blitz to Hygro. It's Lagooned, but will come out on top. Bring it down to second here at EG. Out. Lasting secret here for the start of this fight. Zayn now going to look to kind of switch targets here. He's got a lot of durability with this mid booster for his, but he may have kind of overstayed his walk and get sent back by Puppy on the Chen. That'll be enough to at least kind of have a slightly even trade for secret. secret. It's a two for one, but the gold chain somewhat even. Yeah, I guess a secret lost the Shadow Fiend, and Alina at this point isn't too big of a deal. It's pretty inconsequential. Essentially, you're trading core for core. Um, the support is just token gold, but I feel like Secret could have fought that a lot better. They grouped for the three-man coil, and then on top of that, Artur just started slowly moving towards the Death Ward. They had nothing to stop the Death Ward. Yeah, they weren't going to be able to stop that. There's only the Lina, but she has to play super far back. It was just a really well-played fight by EG. They get the three-man coil off, they lay down the Death Ward really far away from the coil, actually, and they were just able to isolate the heroes from Secret. Well, off of that, EG just going to back off, look to get the next couple of Korans. Fear farming very well in his troll wall. It has 1,500 gold after the phase. Helm of the Dominator will be built into a Yasha. We've seen like a few kind of Shadow Blade type builds from him in, in occasion on the troll, but this is going to be a kind of more just well-rounded troll, not going for that high I don't think you, Yeah, I don't think you build Shadow Blade into a Bristle and SF. There's no real yeah. point. And Nyx is a difficult hero to gank in general off the bat. Maybe you could punish the Shadow Fiend by getting one, but I don't think so. Especially if Arteezy just gets a Yules, you just Yules the troll and run away. Do you think that's going to be the item here Dizzy. for Arteezy on the Shadow Fiend? He has got the Sage's Mask. Is he... Is this a Yules or is he just trying to... Like, he's not completing his Rig of Aquila, so... Yeah, I think it's definitely a Yules game. A BKB here doesn't really help you too much. The damage from the troll is still too insanely high. The Death Ward as well, and it looks like EG are going to go for a Roshan of their own. See, this was a smart Roshan. You've got firm control of the map, you've just taken a fight, and that's going to dissuade Sweeker from going for this fight. If they do fight for a 2 as well, it's just going to be way too late. They've got perfect vision in the Roche pit. But Secret have devoted so many heroes, they've, they've smoked out 4 as well here. They have to go for something. Looks like they are looking for a fight. Zai is just going to push up. But they are walking into a high ground here. I don't think this fight values Secret or uh, Secret whatsoever. Here comes the wraparound from Puppy. He's going to run into AUI. The Impale catches two really nice from Ball. Both supports kind of isolated, and I think EG off of that may just cut their losses. That was so smart from Secret. They split their cores by running forward, and then they created a death trap. I, I thought that fight was going to go terribly for them at first, but then yeah. they just split around and outmaneuvered. Dyer's and when you've got that many uh, creeps by Chen, like what does the Witch Doctor cast do in that situation? I think also importantly they knew Universe on the puck was... He was kind of farming the top lane and Dyer's rotating through the jungle, but he was still a very long way away. Really yeah, you definitely need the puck there for that. I think he might... he should have TP'd just for the protection. But even I didn't think that Secret was going to go for that after the Roche fight. EG probably just thought, okay, we have an Aegis. There's no way that they take the fight here, right? Well, Secret off of this. They're pushing into an Aegis right now. Well, trading towers for the time being. They take the tier 1 bottom. S4 looks to go top to defend and look for it to deny himself. Has got his Blink Dagger up, so EG need to be a little bit careful as far as uh, pushing out this lane and getting caught out. Thoughts on this uh, Queen of Pain Orchid? I don't know. What, what, what are your thoughts? Yeah, Do you not feel like it's an Orchid game? Is this, bro, Universe gets pulled up. That's some greed going for that tier 1 tower. It's... I feel like against oh. the Secrets lineup, it's not the best item. SF, who you know is going Yules. Bristleback, who's just naturally tanky. It's, it's good against, I feel like, the Nyx alone. But even... But Nyx has a Blink Dagger now. Yeah. I guess Lina... I'm, Lina dies to everything, so it doesn't really matter. I feel like a BKB or an Ags, especially an Ags, I feel, against Radiance the type of lineup that Secret has tanked. would yeah. probably be better suited. It gives her tank without having to force her to hard commit to something like a BKB, which would put her a little bit all in for the early game. He's going to get really fast so we can transition to the next time. It's more like, it's not like you, your normal Orchid and then you get lots of kills off of it. Like you start ganking the Storms and other heroes around the map who are very prone to getting ganked by it. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he gets it here and it works off because if you have a Chen and a Bristle and you're behind in the game, look at what Secret are doing right now. They've devoted all five heroes to the jungle slash Ancients. So maybe you look out for the guy who goes to the Ancients or shows up in the lane by himself, knowing the rest of Secret, if they're not showing on the map, they're just farming the jungle out. 
He also doesn't know that Arteezy's going for the Yules just yet. It's been entirely kept hidden on the Courier, so... I mean, you can kind of guess by the game. The only other item he'd get is a BKB, and if he had the Ogre Club, he'd have gone for it by now, Yeah, because he needs the HP. All right, well, EG going to look to make their move out on the map. Right now, their vision's been very limited to their side and fairly defensive. That's where they haven't been able to find too many pickoffs or get aggressive. But they want to try to take control of the enemy jungle, use this Orchid offensively as much as possible. But going to be a bit careful here. Zai's going to be the one they kind of run into, and he scouts it from the high ground. Run away, Zai. Yeah, at this point, EG realize they've got a lot of map awareness. They realize that all five heroes of Secret are in the jungle. They're going to try to evade. Somehow, Secret get out of that just fine. So a little bit more control. It looks like they are going to go for this top lane, though. Yeah, I feel like for EG, even not getting a kill for that smoke, they still get this tier 2, they get some deep wards down in the enemy jungle. Yeah, the Q-Boy was just pushed out really nicely. Zai does have this, or uh, S4 does have the Blink Dagger available to him, but Sumail has an Orchid as well. They're setting up, they're going to Blink in, get an Impel onto two Fears on PPD. They want to bring down the Witch on to start things off here. PPD just try uh, Jack Bowser trying to hightail it out of there. Fear just manning up with the Aegis in hand. He can just keep on fighting, but they've lost the rest of his team. Oh my Queen God. of Bane and Witch Doctor gets blown up. Another two here Impel from S4. He's he got to go for it. Vendetta. It's catching everyone. V is still in the back line. He's trying to 1v5 it up. AUI with the freezing field gets cancelled by Yerlina. It's a team wipe from Secret. EG get destroyed. The what quills. happened? The quills. <laughs> There's so many charges. Oh he just kept. God. He just kept doing it over and over again. They didn't realize Sumail got so low. I mean, this is the problem I feel with the Orchid. It just doesn't really provide a whole lot. Who do you Orchid there, right? The SF instantly uses himself. The Bristleback, is it really worth it to use it on him? S4 just stayed in the far back, waited for his opportunity, catches two heroes in the back line. That's what he's going for right now. He's just trying to obliterate the back line. He's not even bothering using his ultimate because he assumes that EG just has a bunch of sentries, and they do. And just the sheer amount of quills that he shot off, and the Shadow Fiend being able to pop his ultimate, getting a raise off as well, it's just too much damage right now. Pushing into this kind of lineup, it feels, is just a little bit too dangerous. That was with an Aegis there, and yeah, they kind of just let Fear do his thing on the front lines, knowing that they can outlast him, bring down the squishy heroes further back, and with that, Secret get a lot of momentum going their way. I mean, Troll looks a lot less scary when he's lo he loses his Witch Doctor and his Puck. Yeah. Like, you just kite him non-stop there, and that's exactly what he did. He didn't have enough targets to go for. How are you going to kill a Bristleback? He just turns his back to you and waves it away. That Bristleback just cleaned house there as well. See Puck get caught out as well this time around. It's, well, Kuru's leaning against the kill, but there will be a counter kill here. Kuru going to look to just turn into as much damage as he can. The Death Ward from the higher ground, PPD. Going to get one kill on the leader, but will pay for it with his life. Zai with a PKV, just manning up. He's going to go for AUI as well with the maxed out goo. AUI just taking huge damage here. The BKB ends though, and Zai's going to be careful. He may have overextended. Uh oh. He blinks for the front as well, catches him. That's an unstoppable streak for Sumail, by the way. That was a really costly mistake from Zai. Radiance middle tower is I, that wasn't the move. <laughs> that definitely wasn't the play. They do get the mid tower though out of that and that helps so much just for control. If they want to go for the Roshan, they've taken out both tier ones in mid and bottom so it's a lot more difficult for EG to contest that. I guess it's worth it but you did use a 10 second BKB charge to kill the Witch Doctor and kind of go for the CM. Yeah. You don't actually, I mean, you don't, I, at this point, like, the kill, whether CM lives or not, the big thing is there, the Bristleback dies, and EG Sumail suddenly up to 2k gold, so he can transition to that BKB you talked about, or the Ag Scepter, whatever his next item of choice will be, so. For EG, how do you feel like they kind of scale towards the late game? Like, CM and Witch, well, Witch up to late game with Farm sounds amazing, but the CM one of those here is notorious for being really bad in a late game scenario. I think Sumail has to go for a BKB here but it's not the ideal choice. And the problem right now with EG's lineup is they don't really have a hero that benefits from all. Oh, great play from Universe. He was there to cancel the Requiem of Souls. Fear, knowing his buddy was there to back him up and... Well, it's too, that too was too over-aggressive by RTC. <laughs> I, but he, he kind of assumed that Universe was there. That was pretty unexpected. He didn't have any... I think he had no way out anyway, so he's like, I may as well go for this. Yeah. Because it's like, Fear knows the damage and what SF can do there. He's seen this countless times from his own teammate, from RTZ. If you've been playing pubs in the last three weeks, yeah. everybody knows what so the damage is. If he's is. running at you as an SF, chances are there's someone else there who's going to cancel that combo. But what, what, what else can RTZ do? Yes. Yeah. 
Maybe he yields his fear and tries to TP out, but if the puck's there, then he's going to cancel the TP, so. But who who does... Who on EG's lineup really benefits from the troll, as I was saying earlier, in the late game? The Queen of Pain sort of does. The Witch Doctor ult, you know, doesn't do it. It doesn't change anything. I guess it sort of helps Puck become a DPS scaler. And the CM, he just doesn't do anything. Hey, don't be hating on CM. Oh, and he gets his deny off as well. That's just so much damage on him. So late game, I feel like it favors Secret by a pretty decent margin, actually. I think the, sh the Bristleback especially is going to be so hard for EG to deal with. That seems like the main problem here, because even with Secret, they Secret have like a Chen who doesn't go that well to the late game. Uh, even the Nyx Assassin is much more that kind of mid-game initiator, but S4's got a lot of farming it up his hands, and just being that initiator, the spammable Mana Burn against the Queen of Pain is going to do huge damage in the late game scenario as well, and that's this Mana Burn in general, great against Puck and Quop. This is like a mini Laguna Blade to throw on top of their other nukes. Yeah, and speaking of Laguna Blades, once Kuro gets an Aghanim Scepter, and judging by the way that Secret always plays, he's going to grab one sooner than later. That really helps against heroes like Queen of Pain, the Troll, when they get BKBs, and especially when it goes to five seconds, you've got the Lina ult Ags just to stop them. Yeah. Tell them, okay, you're at half HP, run away, and then once the BKBs flare out, you've got a lot of heroes that can chase. You've got two, three Blink Daggers, actually, on the way of Secret. You've got one on the SF, one on the uh, Nyx, and one on the Lina, actually. And when you've got that kind of mobility and chasing, late game, fighting for EG, they have to hard commit to things. Yeah. I mean, just looking at the net worth here, Secret supports almost like doubling the net worth of EGs. What is it about like their play styles that kind of causes this to happen, do you feel? Mm, good mobility, good rotations, being able to back themselves up in fights. Things of that nature are always going to help. Not getting flustered, especially. It just looks like they never really worry too much if they're ahead or behind. They always know, stick to the game plan, stick to the script, and that seems to help them more than any other team. Well, for uh, Secret, they're going to continue to do their thing, and the net worth for Bristleback continuing to climb, but it is Troll and Fear who's uh, topping the net worth here. Yeah, he's got a lot of farm. He got the Roshan as well, I believe. I think the only fight that went really badly for him was the one at top. Yeah. He did die early in the lane, but he was top farmer for the most part. And now Fear, I feel like this is EG's timing. You've got your BKB on your troll. Nobody else benefits from your ultimate. You've got an Orchid on uh, the Queen of Pain. She's about to pick up her BKB as well. I feel like this is the timing. You grab both BKBs on both your cores, and you just yep. make a move for it right now. Rochem will be respawning fairly soon as uh, going to the actually it's back now. Secret looking to take it <clears throat> themselves. And I think EG are not going to let this go down without a fight. Yeah, especially with both BKBs flying. I don't think you wait for the Queen of Pains. You have the one on Troll already. The Coil is missed on S4. That's the costly now. They definitely need that to fight. They're they not going to get in the Roshan in time. It's too late. Roshan yeah, goes yeah, down. There's no way. They're, they're going to have to tie tail it right now. Fear should be fast enough, but he gets Yules up. He has to pop the BKB. Get out of here, buddy. Okay, he pops it just for the Impale here. Universe blinks. He gets hit by the Carapace. So now Kuro going to blow up your puck. Great play. That's his gem as well on Nick. the ground. Fear is oh, getting no. really low. They do manage to pop it out. Arteezy is actually getting into a right-click fight with him. Are they going to be able to get it off? No! Ooh, just barely TP'd out of that one, but Secret still come out on top with an Aegis, with a gem, and with three hero kills to their name. Oh boy. That is a swing in the <laughs> They lost a thousand gold, they gained 1600 on the side of Secret. Fighting against this type of lineup, especially when you miss that coil, that was the crucial moment. Roshan, regardless of where it's at, at that point, you hightail it. You can't fight that. You just, you don't know. You're completely blind. There's no, it's not like Chen where you can send a creep in to check. At that point, it was hard commitment. And once you've lost that puckle, how do you actually fight? That was their best chance because there's no BKBs on the way of Seeker right now. So if they were able to get that puckle off, uh, if you notice how far the Witch Doctor played up, he was just looking to abuse that coil plus combo. And then he realizes, okay, there's nothing coming. Maybe he didn't know. But he played so far up, and at that point, they weren't getting anything out of that. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. I feel like EG were just kind of, they half-assed it. They didn't fully commit to, to contest Roshan. They wanted to just try and test the waters, see what was there. And, and You can't they, test the waters against yeah. the Blink Daggers. You had to go all-in, especially when SF doesn't have a BKB. You've got disables for it. They're now going to look to defend their tier 2 top tower. Puppy with an Ag Scepter has this ancient Granite Gold just poised in the front line here. They go in, get the Dream Floor done. Only his Puppy, though. Sumail in the front as well. Bristleback is going ham here. He's doing so much damage. Brings down Sumail with one last right click, and PPD next in line for the Cleaver. Bristleback just spraying everyone down. And now, well, the rest of EG looks soon to fall as Arteezy gets one last raise and he's going to bring down Fear as well. It's a five-man wipe. Ultra kill for Zai. The Zai Bristleback strikes again.
it's just not a lot of heroes that can do anything to him. You have to rely on the Witch Doctor ult for damage, but he's only level 11, he's got power treads, he's built He's built a full poverty build. He's got Bracer, he fully upgraded his magic wand, there's just no way to stop him right here. Well, that's the GG call, and Secret continue their undefeated run here at the Dota 2 Asia Championship, going 14-0 in the group stage. Just one match remains against VG Gaming. The snowball factor wasn't enough for um, EG. I think Crystal Maiden especially is kind of an all any hero. It's yeah. why it's not picked a lot. I'm not a big fan of it. I don't know about you. They have the Witch Doctor ready to counter the Chen. It's not like you should pick the CM just to counter the Chen, I feel. And it, it, it did manage to kill the Shadow Fiend once, but the overall layout and the picks itself didn't seem to lend itself well to being a Crystal Maiden game. I mean, look at how greedy secret supports were able to play. Like they picked up a Chen who <laughs> managed to finish an Ags at a really reasonable time.